Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I will introduce you to Oden. Oden is very popular winter dish all over Japan, and each region has original taste as Ozoni New Year soup. Various kinds of ingredients slowly simmered in flavorful dashi broth. The key to making a good Oden is all about dashi broth. Let's get started with the most flavorful corn kelp dashi. Combine comb kelp and water and heat on the very low heat. When the water reaches 60 degrees Celsius, keep the temperature for 60 minutes. Take out the comb kelp before it gets slimy. Bring it to a boil and add seasonings. Taste and add salt to taste. The saltiness should be a little bit saltier than soup. Next, prepare the ingredients. Each ingredient should be prepared appropriately to absorb dashi. Pre boil the daikon radish. Today I bought gigantic daikon from my neighbor market. Peel and cut daikon into 1 inch thick round or half moon for this size. It's huge. Put them in a pot and fill it with water that has been used to wash rice. The rice rinsed water removes bitterness and softens the daikon. If you don't have rice on hand, tap water is just fine. Boil for 10 to 15 minutes until translucent. Drain and wash under the running water. Boil small sized potato for 10 minutes with a pinch of salt. Put eggs in the same pot and cook for another 10 minutes. Drain and chill the eggs. Peel the skin off from the potato while still warm and set aside. Potato should be at room temperature before adding to dashi. To avoid falling off, peel the eggshell when it's chilled. Pour boiling water over boiled octopus. Cut into each leg and cut off the tips. Check the previous video, the reason why. Cut the head into chunks and run a skewer through. Pour boiling water over deep fried fish cakes to remove the oil. The oil prevents from dashi absorbed into fish cakes. There are various kinds of fish cake for oden, choose to your liking. These are called chikuwabu, actually, this is made from flour paste. Cut tofu into bite size. Put everything into a dashi pot and simmer slowly for about an hour. I prefer to cook octopus and potato in another pot. The potato might fall into pieces, octopus might discolor and tint other ingredients. It's totally fine to cook everything in one pot. Here's a bonus recipe do not discard the daikon leaves. Chop into small pieces. Slice the comb cap that has been used to make dashi stock. Heat the pan and oil generously. Saute until the leaves wilted. Add sugar and soy sauce and cook until almost all of the liquid is gone. Transfer to a container and mix with toasted sesame and bonito flakes. Go s o well together with the hot steamed rice. Leave the pot for a few hours until it comes to a room temperature. The ingredients absorb dashi while cooling. Before serving, reheat o d e n and transfer to an earthenware pot if you have one. I like the daikon the best. The texture is almost fall off and absorb dashi at most. My son likes octopus the best. Which ingredients you want to try? Thank you for watching the video. Please thumbs up and consider subscribing if you don't want to miss new recipes. And stay in touch on Instagram and Facebook for daily updates. Thanks again and see you in a week. Bye!